Hey guys, welcome back to another ILKB at home workout. Let's get it started in three, two, and one. Light jog in place, y'all. Okay, welcome back. It's me, your trainer, John. We're gonna go slight and easy to begin with just that light jog in place, everybody. Okay, just slowly start to get your breath going. Okay, get your heart rate up, get the blood pumping to everywhere it needs to be. In a few seconds, we're gonna drop it down and you're just gonna give me a couple of seconds of mountain climbers. All right, folks, let's get ready in three, in two, and one. Let's go. Begin from that push-up position, AKA the high palm plank. You're bringing those knees up to your chest, one at a time. Slow and steady or fast and furious, you go at a pace that works for you. Five more seconds, hop up, pop up, back to that jog in three, in two, and one. Just light jog in place, y'all. Okay, great job to start. We're gonna be doing that, dropping down for your mountain climbers two more times, just during the jog and fortune in the beginning part of today's workout. As a matter of fact, I think we're getting ready to drop down for that second set in three, two, and one. Drop it down and mountain climb, guys. Okay, again, shoulders back and hips all in that straight line. You're bringing up those knees one at a time. Also important to note, your shoulders, elbows, and wrists should also be in that straight line. Okay, proper positioning there. Three more seconds, hop up, pop up, jog it out in three, two, and one. Here we go, back to our jog in place, guys. Okay, and nice and easy. We're gonna be dropping down one final time for those mountain climbers during the jogging portion of today's beginning warm up. All right, y'all, so again, just loose and light. Take those deep breaths. Exhale out, make that audible sound. We're gonna be dropping it down for those last set of mountain climbers in three, two, and one. Drop it down for your final set of your mountain climbers today, guys. Okay, again, one more time. I like to go knuckles down, as a matter of fact. I believe they give them a much more stronger, much more stable base. But if you go palms down, that's fine as well. Just a few more seconds, guys. Back to that jog in three, two, and one. Jog it out. Okay, y'all, we're done with our beginning portion. Now let's really get into today's warm-up. All right, guys, we're gonna lock our feet together. I want you to hop from side to side. Lateral hop in three, in two, and one. Here we go, guys. You're just bouncing on the balls of your feet from left to right and side to side. Okay, try to keep those heels up as you're going side to side. If you have to modify, you can certainly go like this too as well. It's not as intense, but you are still getting those lateral hops from side to side. Okay, but otherwise I want to see you all bouncing from left to right. Try to stay in the same plane, guys. I mean, you're gonna move around a little bit, but try to keep those legs together as best you can. Okay, a few more seconds here, guys. We're gonna slow it down with our curtsy squats in three, two, and one. Diagonal and behind, diagonal and behind. Okay, folks, we're getting that back knee close to your floor without actually touching. There we go, nice and easy, folks. Okay, slow and steady. Keep your back straight, keep your core tight. Okay, folks, as you go diagonal, and behind, nice job there. I always tell you guys, manage your pace, manage your speed, go at a pace that works best for you. All right, folks, get that last couple of curtsy squats in. We're going to our in and out squats in three, two, and one. You drop it down like a squat, but you hop up, pop up off the balls of your feet. Your feet are moving in and out like that jumping jack. And I like to tap the floor with my fingertips just to keep those in and out squats honest. Okay, folks, so go out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in, or in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Either way, folks, those legs are moving. Those thighs always stay parallel to your mats. We're gonna go to one side lunge and one squat. Okay, alternate those lunges. In three, two, and one. Side lunge, squat. Side lunge, squat. Okay, guys, that's it. Side lunge and squat, side lunge, and squat. Again, slow it down. Notice here, guys, you're allowing you guys to catch your breath, okay? So one side lunge, center up, one regular squat, one side lunge, center up, and squat the other way, folks. All right, folks, here we go. Let's get ready, drop it down. We're gonna work those abs. Hollow hold in three, two, and one. Hollow hold, hands by your side or beneath your hips. Legs are straight out. You can point those toes, your shoulder blades are also up. Just engage your core. Okay guys, keep those legs nice and straight. If you need to bring your knees into your chest at any time, you can to alleviate the extra weight, but I like you to try, keep those legs extended all the way out. We're gonna move one leg at a time. It is our scissor kick in three, in two, and one. As one leg goes up, the other leg comes down. Okay, alternate it out, guys, okay? 
Again, point your toes. Your pivoting is happening from your hips, not the knees. Okay, so I'll show you the difference here. Just really quick, here's your proper scissor kick. Here is the incorrect scissor kick. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that's called. Okay, guys, so you're pivoting right from those hips. A few more seconds. Let's go both legs up and both legs down. It's the leg lift in three, in two, and one. Bring those legs together as both go up, both go down, both go up, both go down, both go up, both go down. Okay. Again, the rule here, folks, is to try not to let those hips, okay, come too far off the mats. You really shouldn't be able to. But also, y'all, don't let those heels touch the floor. Bring those legs up. Bring those legs down. Go at a pace that works for you. Maybe challenge the pace. Bring them up fast. Drop them down slow. I don't know. But let's get ready to go to our next ab exercise. The X up in three, two, and one. Here we go. Literally, turn your bodies into that letter X. Your right hand reaches for your left foot. Your left hand reaches for your right. Exhale as you come up. Inhale on that way back down, folks. Okay, those are your X ups. Woof. Hope you're feeling amazing so far to start it all off, guys, because we're gonna continue with this party. Once you to hit that high palm plank, we have our flyaway push-ups in three, in two, and one, and you'll see the difference here. It is a push-up to a side plank, a push-up, and you open up to the other side, okay? As always, you can always do those from your knees. They're not as effective with your core, but again, it's all about building that strength. So if you can do the push-up from your knee, but go to the toe for your alternating side plank, that works too. All right, folks, a few more seconds here. Stay in one side for your side plank in three, two, one. Just hold it there. There we go, guys, nice and easy. Just keep those hips up. Okay, and we're gonna go without touching, without dropping those hips as best we can. We're gonna bring it down and switch to the other side. In three, in two, and one. There we go. Open up to your other side now. Hold it for just a few more seconds, folks. Just hold it for a few more seconds, then it's back down. We're gonna work our shoulders out, y'all. Wide arm push-ups in three, two, and one. Back to your palm plank position. Spread your palms out as far as they comfortably can, and here we are, okay? Out to the left, out to the right. You should be feeling it more so on your shoulders here. The wide arm push-up targets those shoulder muscles, and there they are, okay, folks? So work those wide arm push-ups, nice and easy. Nice and easy, guys. And hopefully, you're all properly warmed up. I know you are. Let's get ready, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, the burpee in three, two, one. Here we go, regular burpee. Up, down, out, in, and up. Rinse and repeat, your standard burpee, guys. Up, down, out, in, and up. Up, down, out, in, and up. You got about 13 seconds remaining for your burpees. And then, we're gonna go with from the top. We're gonna to go at it from the top. So give me a couple more burpees, guys, and back to your lateral hop in three, two, and one. Hop it out from side to side. We're gonna go through that whole routine from the top, ladies and gentlemen. So keep it going. Work those lateral hops from side to side. Again, you can go one leg at a time if you want. Okay, but try both legs. Keep those legs nice and straight. A few more seconds. We're gonna slow it down, guys. Okay, we're gonna slow it down with our curtsy lunges in three, in two, and one. Diagonal and behind, diagonal and behind. Slow and steady, guys, okay? That's all it is. Nice and easy. Try to get that rear knee down again, as close to the floor as you can without actually touching. Great job here, folks, okay? So we're gonna speed things up momentarily. Okay, you got about 10 more seconds here before we go into our in and out squats, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get ready, folks. Get those last couple of curtsy squats in, and then we're gonna go right to those in and out squats in three, in two, and one. Down and together, down and then together, guys. In and out squats. Still keep those thighs parallel. Drop them down parallel to your floor before you hop up, pop up, bring it in. Again, as always, I like to stay honest by tapping my fingertips on the floor. A few more seconds, guys. Okay, a few more seconds here. Go again, speed it up. Your heart rate should be coming up. We're gonna be slowing it down with that side lunge to a squat, and then side lunge to a squat. And that's happening in three, two, and one. Side lunge, and squat, and side lunge, other side, and squat. That's all it is, guys. Side lunge and squat, side lunge and squat left 
then right. Okay, folks, that's all it is. A few more seconds here. We're gonna be getting down and working those abs one more time, y'all. Okay, so keep going with that side lunge and that squat motion. You got less than 10 seconds remaining before we drop it down into your hollow hold. In three, in two, and one. Drop down, hollow hold. One more time, guys. Again, keep those legs nice and straight. If you have to bring the knees in, but I prefer you do your best, challenge yourself. It's a lot easier to bring those knees in, of course. A lot tougher to keep those legs nice and straight. Do your best to keep those legs nice and straight. Okay, you're only gonna keep them straight there for a few more seconds before we go into our scissor kicks. Remember guys, it is one leg up and one leg down. Big, wide, up and down motions in three, two, and one. Come on, let's move them now, guys. One leg goes up, the other leg comes down. This should be the motion that should be happening, guys. Big, wide scissor kicks. Called it so because, you know, it looks like a scissor cutting. So basically, here we go, guys. Scissor kick it out, y'all. One leg goes up, the other leg is coming down. Again, pace yourself, take your deep breaths. Do not hold your breath while doing any kind of exercise. You wanna always breathe. So work on your breathing here. And we'll get more into that during today's class, but work on your breathing. Don't hold your breath here, guys. Let's get ready. We're gonna go into our leg lifts in three, two, and one. Both legs come up, both legs go down. Heel still, do not touch your floor, okay? Both legs come up, both legs come down. Slow and steady, fast and furious, or a combination of the two. As I stated earlier, the first time around the block, you can bring those legs up quick, but drop them down real slow. You're gonna really feel those abs working, guys, all right? And just a few more seconds, we're gonna turn those leg lifts into your X-ups, okay? And that's happening in three, two, and one. Turn your bodies into that letter X, guys. Again, right hand reaches for the left foot, left hand reaches for the right. Okay, guys, you're still on your backs, okay? You're still reaching. Really feel that twist of those obliques, those side abs working as you reach and twist for your opposite foot. Here we are, guys. 10 more seconds remaining, y'all, before we flip it over, okay? High palm plank to start. We have a flyaway push-up, all right? That's happening in three, two, and one. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's the push-up into the side plank, then the push-up and side plank on the other side, guys. Here we are. There we go, and slow and steady. Take a breath in either the plank position or in either one of your side plank positions, y'all, okay? So here we are. Keep working that push-up into the side plank. Push up into the side plank. You're gonna hold it on one side, guys. Again, one more time. Okay, let me get one in. As we go to the right side, in three, two, and one. Hold it, right side. Just like that, guys. Very, very simple. Keep those hips up. Again, we're here for a short amount of time. Then we're gonna double down, bringing both palms down, and then open to the other side. All right, guys, in three, in two, and one. Here we go, opening to the other side. See how easy that was? That wasn't so hard. Okay, you're gonna hold that there, guys, for about 10 more seconds, all right, y'all? Then, back down, wide arm push-ups, folks. In three, two, and one. Again, double back down, spread those palms out, and go up and down, and up and down. Your palms are a bit further out now, as wide as they can be, out to the left and out to the right, slow and steady. Again, at the very top of your push-up there, we take a deep breath and resume. All right, guys, good job. Okay, let's get ready to shake it on out. Okay, shake it on out, folks. We have those burpees on deck. All right, y'all? So let's get ready. Burpee time in three, two, and one. Burpee time. Let's go. Up, down, out, in, and up. Up, down, out, in, and up. Up, down, out, in, and up. Great job, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we are here. You've made it towards the final grouping of exercises. Here it's gonna be a progression. Okay, you're gonna do as many of these as you can until time, all right, folks? It's gonna be one regular squat, one jump squat, and one burpee with a push-up. In three, two, and one. Here we go. One squat, one jump squat, and then one burpee with the push-up. Okay, guys, rinse and repeat. One squat, one jump squat, okay, and then one burpee with the push-up. You got it, guys. We're almost there. We are almost there. You got about 30 seconds remaining. That is all. One regular squat, one jump squat, and one burpee. Of course, always bend your knees when you land off that jump squat. Okay, go nice and easy. For those of you that with knee pain, you don't have to go so high. 
If you want to give me two regular squats, that's fine. But attempt the jump squats, really, really build those leg muscles. One regular squat, one regular jump squat, and one regular burpee with the push-up. You only have five, four, three, two, one, and time. Hopefully you got that last burpee with that push-up in, guys. Great job. Go and hydrate yourself, towel off. And make sure you can pause the video here, grab your water, hydrate, but more importantly, again, get a good five to seven minute stretch. When you come on back, have those gloves on, ready to kickbox. I myself, I'm gonna go step off, I'm gonna grab some water. Now, if you caught what I said earlier, we're gonna work a little bit of breathing technique. So I always joke, I always joke in my classes that you should be exhaling out as you strike. Okay, so it should sound like a bunch of angry librarians. That's the running joke that I go. So, okay, that'll be much more evident as I go into the Browns. But whenever you throw either a punch, a kick, or a knee, any one of your strikes, as they come out, you exhale out, you inhale when you come on back. All right, guys, so very, very simple. It's gonna be an eight punch jab cross combo, but really, really easy, guys, not too hard. Jab cross. Jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, cross, and get that breathing. Here we go. Reset. All right, guys? Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, and back. Remember, you heard me. I'm kind of exaggerating a little bit to get my point across, but you want to get that exhale whenever you strike out. It makes your breathing easier. Reset. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, cross, and breathe. Okay? Reset and repeat. Get into a rhythm, guys, of working that exhale out. Okay, so jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, and then jab, cross, cross. Reset and repeat, guys. Just over 30 seconds remaining. Get that breathing down. Okay, keep going. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, cross, and repeat. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, cross, and repeat, guys, okay? That's it, real simple. Keep it moving, y'all. Keep it moving. A few more seconds, a few more seconds here. Let's get it going, let's get it going, okay? And then we're gonna get ready. You're gonna drop it on down for your push-ups. All right, folks, so let's get ready. Dropping it down for those push-ups in three, in two, and one. Drop it down, knuckles down, palms facing one another. Okay, y'all? You can be on the knee or on the toe. All right, folks, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. I'm going to go grab some quick water for myself in between. Keep working it here, guys. Get those push-ups in. You got this. Woof. All right, yeah, I had to double down on my hydration there. Again, knuckles down, palms facing one another. You can go off the knee or off the toe. Either way. A few more seconds here. I want you guys to stand on up for your next round. Again, get that breathing right. In three, two, one. Reset. Jab, right hook, left hook, right up, reset. Okay, jab. Okay, guys, left, right, left, right. Jab. Right hook, left hook, right uppercut. Over here, jab, right hook, left hook, right uppercut. Then with the sound effects, the breathing. Reset. And back, move around if you have to. Reset, guys, go to pace. Go to speed, that works for you. Get that breathing down, make sure your technique is correct. Jab, right hook, left hook, right uppercut. Jab, right hook, left hook, right uppercut. And back. We're about halfway through the round, folks. So keep it going. Jab, right hook, left hook, right uppercut. Jab, right hook, left hook, right uppercut. Breathe. Remember, angry librarians. Okay, guys. Reset. Jab. Right hook, left hook, right uppercut. All right, folks, keep that going. Less than 20 seconds remaining in the round, okay, y'all? 
Hopefully you can join me for the next exercise, which signals the end of the round. But of course, it's more important that you guys hydrate if you need to. But you know, it's an extra challenge since these rounds are a lot shorter than they're usual. Finish up your combinations. And squats in three, two, and one. Squat it out, y'all. Keep getting those thighs parallel to your floors. Keep getting those thighs parallel to your floors. Slow and steady, regular squats, y'all. Okay, nothing crazy, nothing nutty. All right, guys, here we go. A few more seconds here. Get those regular squats in. Oof. All right, guys. Ah, hope you're feeling great. I'm breathing. And breathing with those exhales does help you with uh, maintain you know, uh, your ability to continue through the rounds, guys. So keep on going here. Get that last squat in. Round number three, left up, right up, right hook, left front kick, left, right, right, left. There we go. Even on your kicks, all right, here we go. Left up, right up, right hook, left front kick. Okay, guys? Okay. Left up, right up, right hook, left front. Left, right, right, left is a rhythm. And back. Left up, right up, right hook, into your left front kick, guys. Get into rhythm, get into a groove, work that breathing. Left up, right up, and then on the same side, bring that elbow up for that right hook, and then finish it with the left front kick. Left up, right up, right hook, into your left front kick, y'all. Just over 30 seconds remaining in the round. Come on, y'all, let's go. Keep working it here, keep working it here, keep working it here. Left up, right up, right hook, left front kick, y'all. And then I'm gonna get you guys a good little breather, okay? If you choose to do the exercise, it's a little bit of an active rest. There's a hint, guys, okay? In the meantime, keep going, guys. 10 seconds remaining, left up, right up, right hook, left front kick. You guys are gonna all drop it down with me, I hope, into your hollow hold. In three, in two, and one, hollow hold. Again, I like to sometimes even challenge myself by having my hands out to the sides to really, really, really make that hollow hold work. Again, you can sometimes even do this at home. See how long you can hold the hollow hold. Just try to test yourself, put the timer on, and just rock out, all right? So, Hang in there, you're only gonna hang in here for a little over 10 more seconds. Okay, and we're halfway through the rounds, guys, so just get it going. Keep holding that hollow hold for just a few more seconds, and then let's get ready. You're gonna stand it on up for round number four. In three, in two, and one. Here we go. Right front, cross up hook, left front. All right, guys, so very, very simple. And back, okay? Right front kick sandwich. Right front kick to start, reset. Your cross, your left uppercut, your right hook when you reset, left front kick to finish it, guys, okay? So right front kick, cross, left up, right hook, left front kick, reset, okay? And back. Right front kick, cross, left uppercut, right hook into your left front kick. Just under a minute remaining, guys, come on. Get into your rhythm, get into your groove. Okay. And I know breathing is the main technique we're working on here, but don't forget your pivots, guys, for those punches. All right, guys, cross your up your hook. So right front kick, cross, left uppercut, right hook, into your left front kick, just over 30 seconds remaining, guys. You got this. Oof. Keep going, keep moving, we're almost there. Less than 30 seconds, y'all. Reset, y'all. Okay, in between, y'all, ribbit, ribbit. Oh, I hear them. They're not here yet, so keep throwing that right front kick. Your cross, your left up, right hook, and then your left front kick to finish. Yeah, they're coming closer, ribbit, ribbit, but they're not here just yet. Let's get ready, guys, though. Finish up your combination, get one or two more in, and then it's froggy time. In three, two, one, knuckles down, jump out. High palm, low squat. High palm, low squat, guys. Okay, that's all it is. You're making your transitions from your high palm plank and into your low squat hold. Really engage your core as you jump out. Don't let your lower back flex, okay? 
when you jump out to your froggy, okay, that'll cause maybe a little bit more pain. So really, really engage your core as you jump one out. Hold it nice and tight. A few more seconds here, though, guys. Let's get ready for your next round. In three, two, one. Reset. All right, guys. Jab, cross, jab, cross, left hook, double right knee. Okay, on the side here. Reset. Over here. Reset. Jab, cross, jab, cross, left hook into not one, but two right knees. Jab, cross, jab, cross, left hook, and a double right knee. Okay, very, very simple. Five punches, two knees, breathing comes correct. Reset. And back. And one more time. And back, y'all. Okay, as soon as the ball of your foot comes down on your floor after that first knee, bring it right back up. All right, guys? Make it nice and quick. Jab, cross, jab, cross, left hook, double right knee. Jab, cross, jab, cross, left hook, double right knee. 30 seconds remaining, guys. Come on. You got this. You got this. I believe in y'all. Okay, guys, and then we only have one more round to go. Time does fly when you're having fun as I am here with you all working out with me today, y'all. Okay, so keep it going. 15 seconds remaining. Jab, cross, jab, cross, left hook, double right knee. All right, guys, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Okay, a few more seconds here, and then we have our curtsy squats, okay? And those are happening in three, two, and one. Diagonal and behind, diagonal and behind. Okay, folks, there we go. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Something different every single round for y'all, so keep it working, okay? Diagonal and behind, diagonal and behind, you're working your curtsy squats. All right, folks, so you made it. Last round about to go down, okay? It's kind of similar to that previous round, but this time you're gonna have two knees and then five punches, okay? So very, very really simple. Get your last curtsy squat in, and let's come on back to our fight guard stance. Here's your last round, okay, guys? So here we go, double left knee, okay? Right up, left up, right up, left hook, and then a right hook to finish it off. Okay, guys, double left knee, four uppercuts, and then a right hook. Double left knee, and then right, left, right, left, right hook to finish it off. Double left knee, come on back. Reset, okay, guys, double left knee, then, okay. Double left knee, then right uppercut, left uppercut, right uppercut, left uppercut, and then that right hook to finish it off. Right, guys, double left knee, then start with that right hand, up, 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 and then bang, right hook to finish off that combo. Double left knee, five punches to finish it off. Double left knee, up, 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 hook. Double left knee, up, 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 hook. Very, very simple, guys, okay? Two knees, five punches, no waiting. Keep it going, y'all. Then we, of course, you all are gonna join me in that speed round. Remember though, for the double knee, as your leg comes up, as soon as the ball of your foot taps, bring that second one straight up. Don't go one, and then two. All right, folks, make it happen quick, fast, in a hurry. Do the whole combination before having to stop and maybe properly catch your breath. Double left knee, right up, left up, right up, left up, right hook. We're gonna get ready for our last Speed round. All right, guys, okay, last round, best round. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, folks, here we go. We're getting ready for your speed round. It's double knees, okay, folks? Really, really simple in three, two, one. Get that breathing right. Double left knee, double right knee. Double left knee, double right knee. Double left knee, double right knee. That's all you're working, guys. Bring those knees up. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, get that breathing done. Keep it going, guys. You have less than 10 seconds remaining. Double left knee, double right knee, double left knee, double right knee. Okay, guys, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going for five, four, three, two, one. And done. Yay, great job, guys. Take a minute, catch your breath, grab some water, remove your gloves. You can keep them on if you want, but uh, we'll do them with the gloves off here. All right, guys. We have three exercises, 20 seconds a piece. We're gonna do them two times for the purposes of today's workout. 
You can do them three times, four times, but today for the workout, we're only doing it two times. Beginning with your jump squats in three, two, one, jump squat, y'all. Woof. Okay, so there we are. Bend your knees as you land. You can always do the regular squats if your knees are giving you problems there, but no worries. You only have less than five seconds remaining to jump squat. And then froggy in three, two, one, froggy. Jump it in, jump it out. Jump it in, jump it out. There we go. So we're going to our froggies now. Slowly building up for our burpees, guys. Okay, so let's get ready to do our burpees now. In three, two, one. Let's go full burpee now, guys. And if you're paying attention, it's almost like you're combining the jump squat and the froggy together for the burpees. So there you go. Another progression there. Okay, another way to get your burpees in. Regular burpees. A few more seconds. We're going to do that sequence one more time in three, two, one. Jump squats. Okay, y'all? Again, you can do regular squats or you can give me your jump squats. Either or works for me. Okay, up next, guys, keep it going in less than 10 seconds. We're going to be going into those froggies, ribbit, ribbit time. And those are happening. Let's get ready in three, in two, and one. Froggy time. So after that last jump squat, you just jump out, jump in, jump out, jump in. Folks, we've made it. Okay, you have one exercise remaining. If you're going to do this set again, friendly reminder, it is jump squats, froggies, and burpees. All right, y'all. Speaking of burpees, let's go into those burpees in three, two, and one. Burpee on out, guys. Here we go. Last set for today. But for those of you overachievers out there, you can go ahead and do an extra set or two or three till burnout. It's really, really entirely up to you. All right, guys. So we're working those jump squats, our froggies. And now we're on our last exercise, those burpees. Four, five, four, three, two, one, and done. That's it, guys. Great job. Awesome job. If you're doing it again, it is jump squats, froggies, burpees. Jump squats, froggies, burpees. About 20 seconds a piece. All right, folks. Great job, everybody. So we're going to end today. Remember to breathe properly. Um, get a good stretch once the video is done, once you've pressed done. But before you do that, let's go ahead and count you down. Three, two, one. Two bangs and a clap. Three, two, one. Great job, kickboxers. See you next time.